Hello, welcome to a quick demonstration of Elastic X and Elastic Index, two new Max objects available from elasticmax.co.uk. Following on from the popularity of our original Elastic object, we've developed a new stretching algorithm specifically designed for Max, enabling much greater flexibility and efficiency. Elastic X is an extreme version of the Elastic object, which works much like the established Groove object, but with independent speed and pitch controls. Unlike the original Elastic object, Elastic X has no limits on the speed or pitch values, will play in reverse and accept signals in all inlets. Using the elastic message, we can turn on or off the stretching algorithm. With it turned off, we get the same functionality as the original groove object. So, like a record player, if we slow the loop down, the pitch goes down too. As you may have guessed, the elastic index works much like the established index object but with an extra pitch input. Here we're using a slider to scrub the sample index to read the buffer. Here's an example of uh, using the phase output of Elastic X to change the speed according to where we are in the sample. Uh, we're multiplying the phase output by a series of markers and using this to select the input we want from the selector object. Each input to the selector object corresponds to the speed we want at each of the marker locations. We then simply feed the output of the selector to the speed input of Elastic X. To make things easier, we've built a quick interface using LCD, which allows you to add markers and warp your loop. Here's an example of tempo matching two loops with different tempos together using two Elastic X objects. This is explained in more detail in the original Elastic video, uh, but this will give you an idea of how easy it is to sync two loops together and control both using a master tempo without affecting the pitch of either sample.
Here's a quick example of a sampler uh, where we want to change the pitch of a sample without affecting its speed. This is also explained in more detail in the previous Elastic video. Here's an example of using a phaser to drive elastic index. Although instead of plugging phaser directly in, uh, which we could do, we're going through a kink object, which allows us to add an amount of swing to the playback phaser. Hopefully you can just about make out the second wave display has a small kink in it. Lastly, here's a, an extended version of the harmonizer patch from the previous video. As Elastic X is a lot more efficient, we've now got eight harmony parts running off one buffer. Uh, and in fact, my CPU is still only reading about 5%. For a more detailed explanation of how this patch works, have a look at the uh, previous video. So inside the sub patch we've got another Elastic X object playing the same sample but transposed to create a harmony part. We'll now add another seven harmony parts, so we've now got eight harmony parts to the original sample. I hope that's demonstrated a few of the things you're able to do with these new objects. For more information or to purchase the objects, have a look at elasticmax.co.uk. If you have any specific questions, feel free to use the forum or send us a quick email.